Philippa, I would like to introduce you. You're one of the last witnesses of what the mother said intimately to very few people. And I always felt that, you know, the testimony of your experience with the mother and how you felt she viewed scene and how today, what she would say today about certain subjects like Auroville, like India, is very precious. And so we've started this series of interviews and uh, at your own pace, you know, on your own subject. We would be both grateful to have you say it and your views. Francois, thank you very much for coming here and asking me this very important question. One thing that I would like to remember is that during one of my conversations with the mother, she told me that she has three steps of her action. The first step of action, she said, was the establishment of the Center of Education at the Ashram, at Pondicherry. That is done. Second step, she said, is Auroville. And third step is Shirovidu's action. The central theme of which is India and solutions of the problems of India in the light of Shirovidu. I was very happy to hear this and in my heart I prayed to the mother, please put me in all the three steps and uh, my life thereafter has been so modulated automatically that I have been able to participate in all the three activities, activities of the Center of Education of the Ashram, Auroville and Sri Aurobindo Jackson. Another thing that I remember was that during one of my conversations with the mother, I was so enthused about Auroville that I told the mother, Mother, we should establish Auroville at many places in India. And when I said this, mother was so pleased with me that she said, Excellent, excellent, excellent. So in my view, this Auroville is only the starting point. A time must come when we should be able to establish such institutions like Auroville or townships like Auroville in different parts of India. But for doing that, we must first establish this Auroville on very sound footing. The third thing that I would like to mention is that when in 1964 I heard that the mother had a plan to establish Auroville, my heart, no bounds of happiness, automatically, spontaneously. And uh, since then my enthusiasm for Auroville has remained the same or even more. I truly believe that Auroville is most important for the future of the world. And the way in which Auroville is developing, although one can say that many more things could have happened, many better things could have happened, I feel very, very happy. I feel very happy that Auroville is growing, developing and uh, making good contributions. Even you yourself as a member of Auroville, you have made a good contribution to the problems of India. You have written on India, you have interacted with a number of leaders, you have gained the confidence of Indians. Even newspapers refer to you as an authority. And uh, this is uh, of a great value in my consciousness. I have a few notes if you like me to read out, because uh, they might not appear anywhere else. So there are two questions. One, yes. what is the state of Auroville today, in your opinion, especially what you feel Auroville is lacking today? And the second question is, what can be done to remedy this, you know, the, 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 the you know, insufficient uh, size of Auroville? No, I am very happy, first of all, that Madhuri Mandir has been established. Yes. It's such a beautiful monument. Is it important occultly and from an occult point of view? Is Both it occult point of view and also explicit point of view. It is. Matri Mandir, as Mother said, is the soul of Auroville. Right. And uh, I think uh, 
It is the body of the mother herself. You yourself spent quite some time in Oravin as chairman of Oravin. Yes. What was your experience then? Well, it was a battle, but I was very happy. Particularly, I was happy with the children of Oravin. And uh, my dear friend Dipti, for example, she helped me a lot in giving me contact with the children. And uh, I spoke to the children of Oravin on many subjects. And I felt myself enriched by the experience of Oroville. I have only to be grateful to Oroville and to all the members of Oroville. Then what did you feel that could be done more for Oroville's well, growth? First of all, I thought that economy of Oroville requires a very special attention. Because mother wanted that there should be no private property in Oroville. Nothing that one can say about that this is my possession. This sense of possession of any property too much property should go consciousness. Okay. It's a very tall claim and yes. tall ideal. Yes, I don't think it can immediately be realized. Yes. But I think that we should move in that direction. What about the education given by how did you feel about the education? Education of course is a very big experiment and I am very happy that many things have developed about awareness of the body, for example, the whole program is so good. And many original things have taken place, last school, even after school, and then super school also. Future school, yeah, future school. No, super school yeah, also. Super school, okay. How do you compare the Oroville education and the Shurundo Ashram education? Well, there is a lot of difference, no doubt, but I think there is some continuity and what is called the idea of free progress system is a matter of great research in Oroville. In is also here. It's a very big subject. Okay. How to develop free progress system is a very, very big problem. There's a question of objective of the system and it can't be even called a system. It's a way of dealing with children. It's not a system of dealing with children. It's a way of dealing with children. So there's a long way to go. It's a long way to go. Objectives, contents and methods of education. All the three things should receive a tremendous amount of research activity. Are there some people in Orville whom you thought were fit to do that research? Oh, there are plenty of people. Oh, yes. I think all the good teachers are there. And uh, once again, I must mention Sanjeev, for example. And before Sanjeev, Ale Bernard made a tremendous contribution. Yes. And as you know, we prepared three very big volumes. The Aim of Life, Good Teacher and Good Pupil. And uh, the third volume was Mystery and Excellence of the Human Body. Yes. And Ale Bernard and the team of research. Teams of research, not only one team. We had teams of research. It was a tremendous work which was done. And I feel very, very happy that this has been done. At present, these three books are now in circulation in many parts of the country and many governments are consulting these books for their guidance. What about the spiritual growth of Oroville? Do you feel that uh, in terms of inner growth, Oroville has... Well, I'm in touch with many young people of Oroville, young people and even elderly people of Oroville. Even today? Even today. And I can tell you confidentially, I know the stories of many people, what is happening to them, their struggles. And I feel that it's a tremendous tapasya which is going on in Oroville. I, I can only say that uh, there are beautiful souls in Oroville who have come for tapasya. Yes. And Oroville is providing them the right atmosphere, encouragement and uh, base for their tapasya. I feel always Orobit to be a kind of burning fire. And I feel fire very, can very, hurt. Fire can hurt also. Pardon? Fire can burn. It can burn, but it is a tapasya. Yes. And I feel very happy. In fact, the I am in touch with many, many people. And although outwardly people may not know, but inwardly since I know them quite from the inner side, the inner stories, I know how much spiritual struggle is going on in Orobit. And I, I can only say that I am more than happy 
that this is happening that there is a mother has created a place in the world where such a thing can happen so the mother's dream is happening is happening and will continue to happen i have no doubt about it actually so very beautiful note ah oh, great great not only faith but i can only say that i am absolutely sure that orobel is destined to play the leading role in the world in terms of research in terms of contribution it can make to the culture of the new world to the theme of human unity to the theme of perpetual education and the youth that never ages i am very very happy about orobel and i see great prospects before orobel so what we would like is that you give a few you know leads a few uh, you know leading points for orobel's growth i think in your notes you have a few so i have one note which is a, a summary of a talk which mother had with uh, nandini satpathi you know at the time she was a deputy minister yes i remember nandini satpathi very well uh, of the prime minister in the prime minister's office and she had once come to the mother right and uh, she had spoken to the mother and uh, i have a note a summary of of what mother told her it may be quite interesting yes yes you may right. so if you allow me please i shall just find out my note and i will read it out to please. you because part of this note we will not find anywhere now when nandini satpathi spoke of what indira said about the troubles that she was having and the difficulties that she was facing she added that indira wanted the help of the mother in reply the mother said that she knew very well about all that and that she was constantly giving her help and blessings to indira regarding the danger of communism the mother said that communism is a truth that has been distorted and that when the truth comes out the distortion will fall off the truth is that all one's efforts and all one's work should be turned not to the state but to the divine the mother added that there is only one country in the world that knows that there is only one truth to which everything should be turned and that is that country is india other countries have forgotten this but in india it is ingrained in the people and one day it will come out mother first further added that we must all recognize and work for india she said that india is the cradle of the truth and we lead the world to truth india will find its real place in the world when it is it realizes this the mother asked nandini satpathi to stay to tell indira that she should decide to become an obedient faithful and devoted servant of the truth and truth alone and then nothing would obstruct her all outward difficulties and even persons trying to upset her position will not be able to affect her if she is firm in her faith and in her devotion to serve the truth nothing can prevail against her but they went on and said to be a true servitor of the truth one must forget all one's personal desires and preferences and have only one thought to serve the truth the mother of course in the present at that time there were some few you were, there, you were there also and that that i was not there at that time but some other men were there so mother said that she hoped that men would who were present would not be offended but she added it is only women who know how to use this power 
that comes from the truth. The mother also said that Nandini should convey to Indira that she must know that the laws of man cannot stand before the laws of the divine and ultimately the laws of the divine will prevail. Mother also told Nandini that a new consciousness had descended on the 1st January, this was in 1969. And that their consciousness was very active. And that we have to we have come to a very critical time in the history of the world. At the same time, it was most interesting. This new consciousness, she said, is preparing the superman. So there are big changes happening all around. She explained that when the first man developed, the animal had no mind and could not appreciate the evolution. Man has mind and can appreciate the evolution. That is why this is the most interesting time in history. If one can stand in that consciousness and watch the happenings from above, one can see how small and futile they are and one can then act upon them with a great power. The mother also told confidentially to Nadiyan Isafasi that she wanted Indira to continue in her present position because the mother was able to work through her as she is sincerely trying to serve the country. Then towards the end, mother said that Aurobin is the only hope for preserving a new world and for preventing a world war. She said tensions are growing and the situation is becoming very critical. But only the idea of Auroville, if it can become more widespread, can prevent the world war. And then at the end she added, the children who are born at this time are fortunate. I think this is a note that I have with me and perhaps it may be useful to remind ourselves of this note. Yes, absolutely. But that leads to one question, Kirtipai. What should be the relation between Auroville and India? Because it's never been really defined. As you know, Pondicherry is India, but it's really different from India. So how can Auroville have a interaction with India? How can Auroville learn from India and India maybe get something from Auroville? I think from that point of view, much needs to be done. Yes, yes. And we need your... We need your I think that... Uh, we need to learn more about India and particularly what Sri has written in the Foundations of Indian Culture yes. about India. It would be a very good idea if we can have a more developed concept of not only of ancient India but what India can do to the world today. And for that of course it is good to assimilate what India has to do. And you remember, Aurobin produced a very good film called Genius of India. Of and I must congratulate the makers of this film, yes. particularly Christine and Alain Bernard, yes. and many others who contributed. Uh, I think uh, there are many, many, many people. Olivier, Christine, are, yes, Marina, many participated, yes. Alain. And uh, I think this film should be shown to all over India. Should be shown in Auroville also because. Uh, yes, in Auroville also you should see from time to time. When just you to remind this. because there is one very important sentence in that whole film that there are three tasks of India. The first task is to, to learn about the spiritual heritage of ancient India right. in its fullness and amplitude. The second was to draw the spirit of India and to develop new philosophy, science, critical knowledge and all the new branches of knowledge in the light of the spirit of India and to deal with the problems of India with some kind of originality. Not to imitate the West but in its own originality we must deal with the present problems of India and thirdly we must work for synthesis and I think 
Auroville is the greatest place on the earth for a true synthesis. I don't think anywhere synthesis of culture, of ideas, of spiritual experience is being uh, collected anywhere in, in the world except in Auroville. And for that reason I feel very, very happy. Uh, the next but question. this should continue. This, this should continue. This, this should, should continue. The foundation of Indian culture should be one of the books that... Or I think you yourself have taken up a program which is very important. I was very happy to hear that you are trying to create a big museum in Pune uh, where you will represent the entire history of India in a nutshell so that the children of today and tomorrow will be able to absorb and learn about India readily through exhibitions and uh, through various kinds of things that can be available in a museum. It's good, like, as you know, many of the new generation of Indian children are not aware of their own culture and roots. Yes, that is a big, big picture because... Sri Aurobindo doesn't have a place that he should have. Yes, today. actually Sri Aurobindo should be the central yes. to the whole of the future of India. And but it's not happening. Why, why is it not happening? You know, this is the question. Also because we ourselves are not studying Shirobindu. That is a great pity, in fact. I don't know if you if you take a census and ask anybody how many people have read Foundations of Indian Culture. Sure. You won't find many. Sure. Now, that's a great pity. I think apart from Christine, who has done a good deal of studies in Sanskrit and also in Indian culture, and she's very devoted. I don't think there are many people in Oroville Oh, there are many Indians who know quite a good deal and who have read also Sri Aurobindo. But uh, by and large, I find that on this area, much attention is to be paid. Because the new generation of Indians who came to Oroville were not like Dittis, you know, they were not versed in, the, in their own culture. So as a result, this new generation of Indians, particularly the young Indian architects. No, I think you should take the help of Aster Patel, for example. She has done, she is both East and West. She was in Sorbonne University, she right. did a lot of research in philosophy. And she is also looking after Bharat Nivas and developing Bharat Nivas. I think much can be expected from Bharat Nivas in this connection. And I think all people in Oroville should collaborate with her so that the work can develop faster. Now the last question, because I don't want to tie you, is about... Many times Madhava said that India was turning its back on its destiny. Is it still true today? Do you feel that sometimes India is turning its back to its destiny to become the spiritual leader of the world? Well, I think that India, of course, is passing through a very difficult time from this point of view. Yes. Um, we are strangers in our own country, you might say. And, uh, of course, there are some people, uh, some great leaders in India, who try to do something, and I don't talk of political personalities only. Take for example Jayari Tata, who was a member of the advisory council for Oroville for a number of years and was himself a great man in his own right. But he did so much for India. I think in fact the whole Tata family has done so much for India that uh, the whole of India should remain grateful to that family. From Jabshadya Tata and so much work has been done and so much contribution even uh, Jayari Tata established a Friends of Oroville Trust yes. and he was the president of it. So he did so much for India and for Oroville. Uh, I think we have to rejuvenate ourselves and in any case you should have a great center of Indian culture in Oroville so that everybody in Oroville understands what India represents. Yes, that is very important. That's the spirit of India should vibrate in Oroville. In Oroville. That, that should happen. That so I should the center of Indian culture which... is a very big, very big task. In fact, you should have one special study group for foundations of Indian culture. And every day there should be some, some discussion or some study of Indian culture. I think there should be a regular program. Why is it that Sri Aurobindo doesn't have the place that he should have today in Indian society? In history books, you know, in, you know, everywhere in India, in political thoughts, you know, on the television, everywhere. We should hear Sri Aurobindo's name all the time, but we do not. Why? 
Well, I think that we ourselves have to do a lot. Are we to blame? Are we to blame? Yeah, because we have we have to work so much, not only intellectually but spiritually, uh, to follow the integral yoga of Shirobindo. A very difficult task, but uh, that is what Shirobindo is. He has given us a most difficult task, and we have to prove ourselves to be worthy of the whatever work we are given here, and opportunity we are given here by Shirobindo Dhammadha. So, I, I would only turn to ourselves instead of criticizing X, Y, Z. I would say, let us ourselves do a lot so that our work goes on ringing in the whole country. Sometimes even I'm, I'm angry after Shirobindo because I feel it's become indifferent to... No, no, no. Shirobindo is constantly present and we are still alive only because of Shirobindo the mother. They are working among us. And I have personal experience of Sri Aurobindo's intervention. So, I, I will not all narrate everything, but I, I, I am very, very certain that Sri Aurobindo and the mother actively are actively working for India and the world. And they will not allow India to be lost. You think they will not allow India? No, to they will not India allow, to, allow to India to be lost. Because you know, at the moment there are many scandals. You know, the the great corruption it's is all happening. Right. It's all being washed out. All are, are you aware? Out. Are you aware of that? Well, I'm heard hearing it from time to time, and uh, I don't think I, we should concentrate upon all these black things that are happening. Our concentration should be on on purification. Purification is the main theme of Sri Yoga. Without purification, yoga cannot be practiced. And we should be constantly working on the theme of purification. What would be the science today of the work of the supramental? Which science should we look at to find out that the supramental is actually working upon this earth and particularly upon India? Well, I think that uh, it's a very difficult question to answer because there are no physical proofs that we can give the look. But certainly, for example, the way with the Soviet Union, the communism collapsed, is one of the biggest signs. Secondly, that the Third World War has not come about. This is a negative thing, sometimes are not even taken into account. It's a very important thing, the Third World War has not come about. It's also because of supramental action. And I think there are many things which are happening today in the world where we can see very clearly uh, the direct intervention of the super mind. But first of all, one must understand what is super mind itself. Yes. And uh, the knowledge of super mind should be spread in the whole country and in the world. And that is another task of all of it. Yes. What is supramental consciousness? But nobody talks much about super mind. I mean, in in, when I came to Auroville till about 1985, then people used to talk about the Superman, maybe too much about the super, Supramontal. No, no, that is true. But nowadays nobody talks much about yes, the actually, Superman. Actually, one day I read out one passage of, from the library one about the Superman, and mother said, you go to Auroville and read that out to, in Auroville. How oh, she said that? Yeah. She said to me, yes, about the Superman. But today not many people know and talk about the no, Superman. No, I think you should uh, bring out a small collection of uh, citations from Sri Aurobindo's mother on the Superman. On the Superman. That's supreme, then, yeah. we yes, tell Christine. Now we should be done. You tell Christine. Yes. She will be able to do it very well. Also, it will ask there also. Yes. I One will. good brochure on the supramental consciousness. That is true. Because nobody you talks about... You know what is Superman? Nobody talks about the Superman yes. in Auroville nowadays. What is Superman should be, should be told and it should be known to all the people in Auroville. So that's a brilliant idea. Because Mother said that Auroville is the cradle of the Superman. <laughs> and if that is so, yes. the people of Auroville should be seized by the idea of the Superman, by the uh, consciousness of the Superman, by serving the Superman mm -hmm. in one's own way. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, but I don't want to tire you too much today. So I'll stop it now. I see it all, no? Yes, it's nice. But ne next time, when you are feeling okay, then I would like to do something about more personal about you meeting how you came here. Who, who skated by, you know? Oh. Yes, yes. Who skated by how you came here, you know? That would be one part. Then 
your interaction with the mother, you know, something a little more intimate, you know, your personal interaction with the mother, you know, how today you remember it, you know. And then we'll do something else on India also, a little more, you know, what should be the direction of in India. Yeah, but, you know, these are... But no, please don't pressure, don't, no pressure. No pressure, no pressure. Mm -hmm. Sometime, in your due course of time. Yes, yes, when you feel okay. Today I'm not so well either. Today it's still not so well. But still. You your know, mind is very, very clear, you know. Your mind is very, very clear. You know, your names and memory and everything is there. So we should just take that opportunity mm -hmm. to, you know, to take things out of Thank you very much that you took the trouble of coming here. You know, it's for the future generations. You know, I'm doing this because I feel that uh, both in India and Auroville in people don't care about memory, you know. Like, I came with a caravan, you know, there are very few people who have survived us with the caravan. Yeah, that is true. Very few photos, very few documents, you know. So it just always started when this caravan came. So in the same way, there are people here, you know, who have been here so long and we have knowledge in them. So we should not allow it to be lost. Actually, even the inauguration which took place should be preserved. That yes, knowledge, yes, yes. Memory of it. It was a tremendous event, that Auroville inauguration. Very few people are there. We did an interview of Popo. You know Popo? Yes. He was there, you know. So we got a little bit of thing, but... No, but you should try to get on the inauguration. Yes, yes. It is a very big event. Something happened that day. 5,000 people sitting in the, uh, at that time when inauguration took place. And so much serenity and quiet you. You can't imagine 5,000 people sitting as one white sheet of of silence. It's a tremendous experience. The mother force is still active. Yeah, oh, much tremendous. As, as much as then. Much more, much more. Tremendous. You, you feel it all the time. Oh, right? yes. We are going through difficult times nevertheless. It's alright, we shall go through and better times are going to come. In fact, I am extremely optimistic. Extremely optimistic. I met Mr. Modi. Uh, he was. Oh. Uh, I met him in his residence. Oh really? Oh good. He had a long day, uh, yeah. he, and it was about six thirty in the evening, and he was still looking fresh. Oh really? Oh good. So oh, I was morning really day doing some yoga, doing some practice, really maybe. Meditative. You gave my regards to him. Of course, of course. I gave. I told him that you were recuperating and you still could not work, but you sent his regards. He was very pleased. His mind is very sharp also. Very sharp. He remembered things which, you know, I met him four or five months before. So he remembered something oh, he told yeah, me oh, then. I see. Oh. oh. What happened? You know, he said, what happened? <laughs> I see. Oh, I find uh, very sharp. Very nice. So I... For your work he gave encouragement? Well, actually I wanted money from him, oh. you know. And I was told that uh, from the chief minister's fund he could give some money for the project. But he told me that there are restrictions on the chief minister's funds, so it has to be spent in Gujarat. So he couldn't, so I was a little disappointed. Oh, 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 oh. So I told him, you know, I'm a non-Indian, I'm doing this museum, I need some help. He said, no, but you're one of ours, you know, you're ours, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so let's hope he... Uh, but he was, uh, he was very nice and very warm. And very nice. I, and what was amazing is that when you fly over Gujarat, you know, from Maharashtra, it's very grey and dry, and then suddenly you come into Gujarat, it's all green, and you see yeah, water. Everywhere. Yeah, that is true. So he's done a tremendous job, you know, tremendous job. If only five states, you know, could be like Gujarat, then there'll be a tremendous change in India. Oh yes, undoubtedly. It will be, that's why I'm very optimistic. It will be. I'm not so optimistic, no. That, no, no, you should uh, throw away your pessimism of any kind. We are moving towards very future, which is very brilliant. Soon? Oh, soon is in the time, from the real point of view of, of the time, it is really soon. At the moment, six don't look yes, so good. Yes, I mean, we should be quite grateful that we are here at this time, when the Mother and Shurabindu are working so powerfully in the world. You feel they are working? So oh, well. yes, tremendously. Because sometimes I feel they are very remote, no, they like... No, 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 no. Very, very near us. No, like Maheshwari. Maheshwari is very, you know, she's there, but she's, you know... But she has to ask us for the detailed work, detailed execution of the work. She's present in every detail. 
I'm doing that small temple dedicated to Mother India. I told you in Pune we are building a small temple, and I'm going to put the eyes of the Mother. You know, there's there's a picture of the eyes. Well, even today, for example, I was not feeling so well, and yet you came, and I was not so sure that I'll be able to talk to you. But you can see that I could talk. Well, everything is there. Quite uh, fluently, very clearly, and without much difficulty. Very clearly. And this is what I see the Mother present here, and so she she gave me the. The possibility of talking to you. We should do more when you are feeling without All pressure. Right, wish, because wish, yes. You have to. You have to leave. You have yes, to give I this. Will, I'll tell you. I'll let you know. You give this to Aurobil and to the world because you have know. knowledge in you, and there are few people. I'll let you know. Very few people left. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Namaste. I will come next time. All right. Thank you.